Hey what's up guys today I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader and install CM12 on your device which is based on lollipop so you just for you just need a software which is called as android one toolkit so download it from the link description link given in the description so you just need to open this and uh, you just need to install drivers you can click here and uh, as you can see I am uh, I have already installed the driver so you can see here a ADB driver already installed so later than you, you you need to press list devices over here okay and uh, you will get your devices your device over here so later than you have to press unlock so you can see the phone has been uh, rebooted suddenly as uh, I press the unlock you can see something going on right here so you you now need to press volume up you can see here yes volume up unlock may void warranty so you just need to go press on volume up unlock pass return to fast boot in 3 or 2 seconds right there okay I'll just press once again the volume up okay and uh, now, you, now you can see the recovery mode over here so I'll just take it down and uh, no I didn't press anything yet but it got rebooted suddenly so you just need to wait right now so as it is uh, rebooting right now and uh, as you can see here the task is being uh, it says task completed now install any custom recovery so later that you will uh, you need to select your TWRP recovery so first let this uh, phone get booted in a proper condition so I think it might get a bit late than usual rebooting I have uh, skipped uh, through the process which you are seeing right now ok now uh, within a, some fractions of second you will be able to see the home screen yeah now you can see the android logo ok now you can see all the user data has been wiped off Okay, to install uh, the TWRP recovery, you just need to first uh, go into the settings section and uh, you need to uh, enable the developer mode. For that, uh, you need to go to about phone and uh, you just need to tap several times for the build number and you can uh, you can see here uh, you are now a developer. So you need to go to back and you can uh, see a new option available as a developer mode. You need to select that and you can see a USB debugging. Debugging, yes. Okay. So later that you need to install drivers just like we did but uh, I'm already installed here. So you need to always from this computer and OK and you need to press once again the list devices and then you need to select a TWRP recovery and flash it. So as you can see just like the before one it got re uh, rebooted again. It's saying fast boot mode over here. 
okay now you can see a flash done reverting into the normal mode task completed okay as you have uh, unlocked the bootloader it will show oem unlocked so this may take over several seconds to boot it up okay this time it is a bit fast over here okay now uh, it has been uh, into the TWRP after some time so so uh, to install the CM12 you, you need some uh, files over there you can uh, download it from uh, this uh, CM12 2014 unofficial sprout and uh, G apps that is Google apps so uh, I'll provide you the link in the description given below so you can download it so you need these two files to copy into your memory card or uh, no, usually called as SD card so uh, later you do that I have already uh, put my put over those files here as you can see I'll just uh, navigate through you no it's not showing me right now so but I have uh, those in my SD card so uh, we will be uh, continuing this video soon after two okay no we'll just do it over here okay so uh, later this we need to uh, remove the usb cable and uh, we'll uh, power off first of all okay now it's totally switched off so uh, now we will be pressing the volume up and the power key together so uh, now you will be able to see uh, some uh, text uh, written as recovery fast uh, recovery mode fast mode and uh, normal boot something like that so volume up to select and volume down to ok so navigate yourself by pressing uh, volume up key now we'll go to recovery and uh, we'll press the volume down key to select this uh, as you can see uh, it's uh, pop up something carbon so now you can see here uh, so first we'll do the wipe okay wipe and uh, we'll, we'll uh, go to the advanced wipe and check dalvik cache system no will not select system we'll uh, do it catch now we'll just need to swipe this so uh, until it's going okay back and we'll just go back over here okay now it's saying uh, swipe to factory settings we'll just swipe it off So it is uh, formatting cache using the something function like this. Okay, it's done. We'll go back and uh, we'll press this home key. And uh, now uh, you just need few tabs where one is install and uh, go to here. Uh, click this images and it will go to zips. We'll go to back up level and we'll just navigate our uh, CM12. Okay, we'll go to external. Okay, we have uh, it is images over here right now. So we have been to the external SD as you can see and we'll. Uh, press this uh, cm12 official so you can see this operation may install incompatible software or render your device unusable folder something like that so uh, you just need to uh, don't worry over here we just need to swipe this and uh, it will be installing a cm12 custom rom over this and uh, you may need uh, to hold this for about uh, several seconds as you can see here it is saying uh, 
flashing file one of one external cm12 2014 11 unofficial sprout dot zip So uh, as you can see, uh, okay now we, uh, now you can see us checking for MD5, skipping, update partition details done. So you just need to press the home button and uh, you just need to install the G apps which have been provided uh, that is Google apps. You just need to select this and uh, just just like that CM12 swipe it off. So this is Google uh, Google apps for Android 5.0 that is Lollipop installing files. So you need to hold on for several seconds again to install these files. Okay, now uh, you can see uh, updating partition details done. Now uh, you need to go to reboot system. That's all. You have installed CM12. just like that see here and uh, please don't panic guys this uh, this first startup will take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes for the startup so I'll be skipping this and uh, we'll be back after its startup thank you hi after uh, some 5 to 10 minutes of booting now it's saying welcome so just yes skip 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 anyway next well uh, this is adding name allows more next well you can see a uh, setup complete your phone is set up and ready to use finish so welcome all people got it so as you can see guys you have now booted up into the lollipop section so we'll just first of all we'll try to sit down about phone you can see cyanogen mod cyanogen mod ok now there is android version yes, lollipop So uh, after all this doing, uh, make sure that uh, if you want to uh, take your warranty back, you just need to go to the stock which has been uh, provided by the Google or uh, Carbon people. Back and uh, take your warranty back. Thank you. And if you like this video, do hit a thumbs up and comment if uh, any questions.